Hello everyone, I want you to take a look at this video. This is the latest core day on our Vimeo channel. This is Mesocycle number 12. Very fun, I love the functionality around this one. You got a really cool use of both body weight and unique equipment selection to come together for a very cool burner. Enjoy the video. Hello everyone, welcome to Mesocycle number 12, core day. One of my favorite days to train. Very important never to skip core day. This is why I take an entire day and I dedicate it just to core. It's very functional, very important. Our abdominals, our obliques, everything around our mid region is often, often neglected and undertrained. Very important to make sure you do that at least once a week. Let's get into it. For this particular workout, we have got a single set, a super set, and a trip set. That's the progression of the exercises, making it a grand total of six. Let's start with the single set. We have a Roman chair oblique raise using a mace rotation. The mace is from Onnit. You can get it from Onnit.com. Uh, I actually, this is a slight um, slight modification to this. It's actually not a mace that I'm using. It's an Indian club. So if I were to rename this, I would call it an Indian club rotation. You'll see that I am in a Roman chair. You can find these at most of your gyms. Uh, from this position, I am going down through the eccentric. I point the club down toward the ground. And then as I come up, I am both crunching and rotating. This transverse plane of movement is very important to adhere to. A lot of people neglect it, and that's why oftentimes they find themselves injured in a sports uh, performance setting because a lot of those movements require that kind of quick twitch and rotation type of strength all to happen simultaneously. And if we're not ready, well, bang, you get yourself an injury. So for this, you want to do uh, concentrate on just the slow, slow movement on the way down while rotating and then a little bit more explosive on the way up. Next, we have our, our first superset. It is a decline cable crunch supersetted with reverse squats. So the decline cable crunch, very, very good for the front abdominals. You're going to be getting yourself in a decline bench hooked up to a cable machine. If you don't have either one of those, do it from the ground and hook up to the cable machine. Or if you don't have a cable machine, do it from the decline and do it with a med ball. But either way, this is a really good exercise for the abdominals. You want to really fight your way down. That's very important on this as well. A lot of eccentric movements are important when you're doing core. A lot of times that's kind of neglected in all of strength training, I think, but especially in core, because we don't want to spend as much time in that contraction as we have to, and usually that's why we end up with a neglected abdominal region. So that's the first exercise of the decline cable crunches. The superset is the reverse squats. Reverse squats, not only very good for the abdominals, but also for the hip flexors. I like to throw in hip flexor exercises during core because I find that they complement each other very nicely, and oftentimes hip flexors are another one of those uh, uh, muscle groups that we don't tend to focus on enough when training. Sometimes we run out of time, we hit the major muscle muscle groups and forget about uh, uh, stabilizers or in this case flexors like the hip flexors and it's just a shame because those are really important and we really do need to work on them so that's why I threw them in here the trip set comes next that's three exercises so we have our lying L overs the sand dune med ball toss and the sprinter sit-ups using the cinder block let's start with the L overs that's going to be body weight on the ground now for added resistance you will squeeze a medicine ball between your feet I recommend using either a rogue or a dynamax medicine ball something with some cushion something you can really squeeze with your heels without finding too much uh, abrasion by one of those more difficult, uh, harder medicine balls. The second exercise is the lying, uh, excuse me, no, the second exercise is the sand dune med ball toss. So this is one that you can implement with a partner. That's certainly the easiest way. Somebody who can field each one of the throws that you do and just toss the ball back to you is probably the easiest way. But if you're like me and you're training alone, you're going to want to implement one of these retrievers, one of these little uh, 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 trampoline uh, med ball retrievers. I got this one from Elite FTS. And they're really handy. They're really nice because if you want to do explosive plyometric core exercises and you don't have somebody to catch the ball and throw it back, well, you can use one of these. That sentence sounded so depressing. But yeah, that's what this is basically for. It basically throws the ball back to you that way you can do the exercise like forever until you wear out so the third exercise which comes next one of my personal favorites i'm using a sprinter setup and i'm using cinder fit so cinder fit is a really cool company where you can get these almost these they look like cinder blocks but they're weights it's a form of resistance it's got this nice rubbering powder coat on the outside of it very very handy for this kind of movement pattern i love the functionality that that company provides I recommend using the cinder fit after you have done the sprinter sit-ups for a while and you're good at them. Sprinter sit-ups are hard enough just by themselves. You don't really need to add resistance. This is just kind of a cool new way to do it that doesn't involve a medicine ball. I just like it because it's a bit cooler to hold on to, rotates a little bit better, and it's just a nice way to change it up. But that's the exercise, and that is the full workout. Shouldn't take you longer than an hour. Have fun.